The UJB Care Mentorship Programme was from the start part of the aims of the UJB Care Programme. It is a way for us to combine the workshops with um, the application of learning. In the workshops, the, the workshop participants get the opportunity to engage with evidence. And our mentorship program assists us in ensuring that they um, start applying this as well. We've decided to use a mentorship approach in the uptake of evidence um, because it, it allows for one-on-one -on -one learning, it ensures that we can have applied learning, and it creates a, a relationship between the mentor and the mentee. We saw our role not so much as transferring technical knowledge, but acting as a soundboard for important departmental members to use the opportunity to talk through some of the challenges they face in their respective departments. And there's a fine balancing act between providing technical support and knowledge and actually being a facilitator to allow people to actually bring these issues to the fore. The UJB Care model for mentorships has got four uh, pockets of mentorships that we have applied over the past two and a half years. Um, the first one is our group mentorship in Malawi, where we have mentored groups who work towards district development plans. At the end of that, we also had some individual mentorship approaches. Then we had two types of individual mentorship relationships in South Africa. The one was short-term individual, individual mentorships, um, where a mentor and a mentee, mentee spent six weeks together in a mentorship relationship. Some of those evolved to long-term relationships, one of them being renewed for seven times. So um, the long-term mentorship relationship is, is purely something that evolved out of the short-term mentorship relationships. The process allowed them to get to know each other better and in some cases, it's even institutionalized a relationship that's now going beyond the mentorship program. In 2016, we decided to, to widen the scope of our work and we started to, de to develop a team mentorship approach where we have mentored three government teams, one in Department of Social Development, one in Department of Planning, Monitoring and Evaluation, and another in Department of Water and Sanitation, where a whole team in a specific unit are working towards a specific outcome. And this assisted us in reaching a far larger group of mentees than with our individual mentorship approaches. From a mentor's perspective, relationships basically define the entire experience. It's likely that you have the right technical qualifications to be able to mentor somebody. But if there's no chemistry, if there's no connection between you and the other person, the relationship is not going to work. In the Department of Social Development, we've assisted them with setting indicators for the outcome monitoring and evaluation system. In the Department of Water and Sanitation, we assisted them with using evidence in the drafting of a draft white paper. And then in Department of Planning, Monitoring and Evaluation, our team mentorship approach assists us with the co-production of an evidence map for human settlements. I became a mentee in the UJB Care program because we were partnering with, uh, my department was partnering with UJ and I wanted to be part of it because I wanted to grow in certain areas. I wanted to grow in writing, I wanted to grow in, uh, in publishing the work that we do within government. It's been an interesting process because I think with the one-on-one -on -one relationship where you actually are trying to build trust with this person and you're trusting them with some of your vulnerabilities like areas of work where you're not too comfortable that you're trying to get uh, assistance and I realize it's actually something that I really needed uh, someone that I can speak to that is not necessarily someone that I'm working with or someone that I'm reporting to uh, someone that I don't feel like I have I will have concerns about what they think about what I'm sending to them. So yes, yeah, so I will say the relationship has been going very, um, very well. In Malawi, we assisted two districts with the development of the district development plans, which helps them to go forward in poverty alleviation. The mentorship program has supported to build skills for the various cadres of officers to contribute significantly in terms of the production of policy documents that are key in programming and also helping in improving decision making at local level. The key lessons learned for the mentorship program 
is that we have to be flexible in our, our approach. This is a program that is focused on relationship building. Um, and we can see that in our long-term individual mentorship relationships, where mentees and mentors keep in contact even after um, the end of their mentorship relationship. Another very important lesson is that the mentorship model must, must be needs-led. There's a very big relationship between our workshops and our mentorships. Only one of our mentees did not attend any of the UJBQ workshops, but that mentee was part was a member of our AEN. I find in, in, in at least you know the time that I was a mentor that the relationship building part is actually more important. In other words, departments are looking for somebody to facilitate, to act as a soundboard, to talk through some of the challenges they presently face in their departments without talking to somebody within that department directly. So you often come across as a mediator. I think the lessons learned from the mentorship program is just that it's really important to have that relationship with the, with the mentor. But also that, that that relationship is based on an understanding of what you're trying to do, a very specific thing that you're trying to do. Like with this current mentorship, I think it's, it's working well because there is a paper that I'm actually working on. The interrelationship of all the different components of the UJBQ program make it very clear that this is a, a, a total process. It's not just a mentorship model on its own.